So this is our workflow that kind of replaces uh, a legacy workflow that we had. We, you know, like uh, like any other MSP, we get a lot of emergency tickets um, and we have an after hours tech to handle those. Um, so kind of in the pre roost days, we would take that in as a as a ticket, um, just just a plain text email and forward that into a team's channel, forward that to someone's cell phone number via like a cell phone at vtext.com um, and send send them an email. Um, and it was it was just awful to try to circumnavigate, um, especially with teams with dark theme does not like to ingest emails. So um, I went ahead and kind of built this guy out. Um, what this does, it uh queries all of our internal texts um via a different workflow um and that one goes and it has a form attached to it so that our uh our service delivery manager can go in there when we're switching on call technicians um he can he goes into our form here and um I told Ashley I was prepping and I just did not prep at all. Um, he goes into our form here and um, basically picks from uh, from our list of users that have, uh, you know, on call capabilities. Um, it'll set an environment variable or an organization variable in Roost um, for their cell phone number and their email. Um, then I go ahead and I have a, a few different uh, hooks here. One for uh, emergency ticket being submitted through Cloud Radial. Um, one through, uh, or sorry, this is the voicemail. One through Cloud Radial and then a third for a uh, an after hours uh, whitelist request for a website. Um, the, that will all feed into this. It kind of finds the ticket. It, it finds the company, um, finds the contact based off of all of that context. This data RMM or data PSA is weird. Um, I have an ingestion block here that kind of separates them out from a uh, whitelist voicemail or just a normal ticket. And then it works through uh, sending a nice formatted Teams message. Thank you, Mendy, for introducing me to uh, interactive cards uh, or adaptive cards. Um, but I have that going with a few loops in here to kind of just loop through all the data um, from, I think it's like, uh, yeah, line five to the last line um, or object six to the last object. Um, and then it spits it all out into a nice looking card. Um, does a does a text message and email um, and then it emails a, a tertiary employee and then sits, waits 30 minutes, checks if it is still uh, untouched and then runs again and uh, runs one more time. I do need to turn these all into a sub workflow, but I tried doing that yesterday and I started getting errors and I didn't want to fuss with it. Uh, so, so uh, yeah, it it's really cool and it's kind of opened my team's eyes to you know how how much power we've got now with roost